Hey guys and welcome back. So today I was going through a little tutorial for this A-Level Maths Progress Spreadsheet that I created. And of course there's going to be a link to it in the description. So the first thing you want to do is open that link, go to File and then make a copy. So of course this copy will not be editable by you because otherwise everyone's going to see all your edits. So if you make a copy, you'll then be able to edit it and change it as you want. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to get through because a lot when I did this for GCSE last year, there's quite a few comments saying, you know, I can't edit it, give me permission, please, etc. So again, you have to make a copy and this will give you your own customizable copy. Let's quickly discuss all the different ways that I'm going to help you in your GCSE or A-level maths careers. First of all, I want to talk to you about the YouTube members. This is a really cost-effective way of getting tutoring. So I'm going to do weekly live streams for GCSE and A-level maths, and that all comes for £18 a month, and you get at minimum an hour of tutoring per week in these live streams. At the moment, they're quite small, so you basically get tuition for about £4.50 an hour, which is really, really cheap. The second thing is the Patreon. For those of you doing A-level maths, I have already completed AS stats on my Patreon. It is a full course with worksheets, mark schemes, videos. I answer all the questions. We're going to do exam papers and everything that needs doing. We're halfway through mechanics as of yet. And lastly, there's tuition. I still have places in my group classes for A-level maths and GCSE maths. For GCSE, it's £30 an hour, and for A-level, it's £40 per hour. So if you want to let me know if you're interested, just email me or join the Discord where I'm very, very active all the time. Anyways, back to the video. So this is what the progress spreadsheet looks like. It says here how to use, uh, that's going to be the link to this video, which of course I can't put yet because I haven't recorded the video yet because I'm doing it right now. And at the moment, I've got the AS Pure and the uh, AS stats and mechanics stuff first. Okay, that's all I've done so far. Again, I'm going to add the A2 stuff in the coming uh, weeks. But I wanted to get this out now because I know we're approaching towards the end of the first big term. We're just under halfway through it. So I wanted to make sure to get it out. So if you have a look, you have all of the different topics broken down into subtopics. So it's not just algebraic expressions, it's index laws, expanding brackets, factorizing, etc. And it goes through all of them. There is a hell of a lot. <laughs> And I've also put what paper they're in. Now, for AS, this is actually a bit boring. Anything that isn't stats and mechanics is in AS paper one. Anything that is in stats and mechanics is in paper two. But for the A2 content, you have three papers. And paper one and two have their own special kind of um, syllabus. Okay, so this will be much more interesting for the A2 stuff. So I've kept it in the AS just to make sure everything's nice and uniform. I've also put what chapter in the book it appears in. Now, if you don't have the book, you can't afford it, whatever, please, please, please message me on Discord or email me. I can sort you out. But again, you have to message me or email me, okay? And then I can maybe help you out. I've also put in the relevant exercises in the books. So 1A and what page number they're on, right? Pretty useful, hopefully. So the idea of this is to really lower the barriers to starting your revision. So now you know exactly what you need to do. Right, okay, uh, let me go through CERD. Okay, it's this page. Open the page, you're done. There's no thought process. You don't have to look at the contents page, you don't have to look at anything. And obviously for the overall chapters, I've also put the mixed exercises and the review exercises that they're in. So this is where you can find every single question in the book on it. So that is that for all of these. Then I have the YouTube video. Now the YouTube video is of course my YouTube videos, of course. So as you can see, there's quite a few gaps. That's because I haven't gone through absolutely everything just yet. So this will fill up over time. So I do recommend you come back to this link every now and then. But as you can see, we've already done a decent chunk of it. Now, of course, this because of the way schools work, they can do this in any order. So AS uh, Maths is quite separate in the sense of that you can kind of do it in whatever order you want. So again, maybe you started at the top or maybe I know some schools actually start with logarithms, which is technically the last chapter. It doesn't make a difference. Um, chances are you didn't start with differentiation or integration though. It also has the worksheet. Now the worksheet again is my worksheet that I've created for it. It does say Patreon, but I want to point out that it's completely free. If you, it's just, that's what I use to host the um, posts themselves. So you click on that, you get the worksheet, you can download it, boom, all done. And again, this is just in case you don't need to look at the video, you just want to do some practice questions in addition to the uh, chapter questions that I put here. Totally fine. This isn't an exhaustive list. You can find more questions online. And again, we do have those resources in the Discord if you want to join that and have a look at what we have. Then I put the confidence, red, amber, green. So green is, this stuff's pretty easy. Now I will point out that quite a bit of AS maths 
is just building on GCSE. So for example, index laws, expanding brackets, factorizing, a lot of the quadratic stuff, you've done that already. So that might be green for you after just one try. Maybe, possibly. Um, amber, so green is you're 100% fine with it. You can do any exam question, it's completely okay. Amber is, you know, you can work through the questions, but it's not immediately obvious. So maybe you're getting the right answer most of the time, but maybe 10% of the time, 20% of the time you're not and you're not too sure about the exam questions, that would be an amber, and then red is, haven't even touched it, maybe you haven't done it in school, maybe it's just a really difficult topic. And that will help you prioritize what topics to go over. Because the green topics, you don't really wanna to touch, realistically, because you know them. Whereas the red topics, that's what, urgently, what you urgently need to pay attention to. And of course, only do this after you've revised it yourself. One thing I will say with this though, is again, with uh, A-levels, it's very independent. So schools may not always finish everything, or you may have, for example, inset days, bank holidays, it could be anything, right? You might be sick, which means you're gonna to have to do it yourself in some cases. Then we come on to probably my favorite section, which is the date completed. Now, this is a model of learning. So essentially the idea is, if you learn something once, let's say in a lesson, you will forget it very, very quickly. So if I taught you right now how to add two fractions together, for the first time. You could do some questions in that lesson. The next week, you would have forgotten 90% of it. That's what, that's genuine actual studies have shown that. So what I've done for you is I've created this formula and I have to give shout out to Hadi this as well to giving me the idea, which it spaces out your repetition. So let's say we completed this, what's the date today? The date today is the 22nd. Let's say today we completed algebraic expressions completely. So if you notice, this is the overall chapter but you can do this for each individual subtopic, okay? Which I do recommend doing. There you go. All of these repetitions are automatically filled in with the ideal spacings as well, automatically. It's all filled in for you. So now I know that since I've done it today, the first repetition is tomorrow, and then two days after that, and then so on. And just to address some questions, first of all is, <clears throat> This first repetition, it doesn't mean, let's say it took me two hours to do algebraic expressions. It doesn't mean I need to spend two hours every further time. This is the really, really important thing. You only need to remind yourself of the method. Realistically, it could take 30 minutes. So let's say in the next day, I wanted to do quadratics, okay? So let's fill in that, and that's the day I did it. On the day I want to do quadratics, I will do a couple of questions for algebraic expressions, maybe three, and then I'll start quadratics. And then the next day I'll do some quadratics, but then the day after that I'm doing the second repetition of algebraic expression. Again, just two or three questions. So you're doing this kind of step by step. So anytime you're revising maths, you're not really covering one chapter. You're revising previous chapters too. If you've ever wondered why maths teachers sometimes give you starter activities, which are based on stuff you've done months ago, this is why. It's to kind of bring that knowledge to the forefront of your mind. You need to repeat it. So again, even though I'm meant to be doing quadratics, I'm going to do a couple of questions. Again, it could take 10, 15 minutes, could take up to half an hour of what I've already done. And again, that, that's why that can get a bit complicated, right? And it can. It can get a bit complicated to keep track of. So I've made a little spreadsheet for you to make it all nice and neat. Now, if you notice, there's these colorings. So these dark green, it means that the date is in the future. So you don't have to worry about it now. But let's say I did index laws yesterday. So 21, oh, 22, 10, 23. Amber means I have to do that today. So this is how easy it is for you. After you've studied the chapter for the first time, you enter in the dates and you do anything that's yellow. That's it. It does it for you. Now, what if I'd done it a few days ago? Let's say I did it on the 19th of the 10th, 23rd. If it's red, it means that the date has passed and you urgently need to do this, okay? And it also means I should be doing the second repetition by now. So I'm, I'm very much behind. So what, what can I do to, to fix this? So what happens once you're actually done with the first repetition? Well, let's say today I need to do index laws. I need to repeat that. And I've done it. I tick it. And now it's locked to green. It's actually a different shade of green to the top one. And that's by design. Over time, you're going to find that the whole spreadsheet should be green eventually. And that shows that you've covered everything. So again, okay, I've done the 20. Okay, done. And then what I might do is leave it a day. So leave it till tomorrow to do the second repetition, tick it off and look, it's locked green. And can you see it's a different shade? That's the idea behind it. Now, I have had questions about, 
okay, um, can I change these formulas? And the answer is absolutely. So I'll show you the formula, it just says it up here. The first repetition is one day afterwards. If you change this number, it will change what rep how many days it is. So that would be one day after. If I change that to a three, it'd be three days after. So second repetition is, oops. The second repetition is three days after. Third repetition is seven days after. after. And as you can see, it will go up and there's in total seven repetitions. If you don't want to do, then that's 45 days after, right? So it's a really long uh, time scale. The seventh repetition is two months-ish after you've learned it. And what by that point, it will be cemented in your memory. You won't forget it because you repeated it throughout two months. So your brain thinks, okay, I've done this for two months now. It must be useful information. The problem with a lot of you guys when you study is you're not very efficient. And with A-levels, it's all about efficiency. You might do the whole of chapter one in a day, like eight hours of studying. Okay, but next week you've forgotten 90% of it because you need to repeat it. So I'd recommend when you do index laws, let's say do half the chapter, right? Let's say it's 10 questions, do five questions, that'd be your date completed. Then do another question here, another question here, another question here. So space out so you have extra questions available. Now with A-level maths, you can find a million questions online. I'm gonna be real. So again, you can change it. If you notice, by the way, if I do that, it gives me a warning. So I could have locked this so you couldn't change it at all. I haven't done that because I want you to be able to customize it if you want. You can customize this however you want. So I've just put it as like a little bit of a warning so then you don't accidentally do it. And then for the applied content, of course, we have the same thing, but it's for stats and mechanics. Okay, it's very clearly laid out nice and neatly. And it's the exact same thing, the confidence, the date of the first repetition, it all works in the exact same way. Okay, so hopefully that will um, help you in your revision, of course. Now with the stats and mechanics, I will point out that there probably won't be very many, if any, YouTube videos. The reason is because I actually do it on my Patreon. And we're actually all the way up to, do, 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 do. this is the last Patreon thing that we've done. So we've actually done all the previous parts already. I may release some parts for free, but again, it's not really fair on people that paid for the Patreon if I release the whole thing. So I hope that makes sense with regards to this. Again, the most important thing realistically is do file and then make a copy. Don't, if you try and edit this one, it's going to give you a warning. Don't ask for permission because again, this is my copy, which everyone's going to be taking off of. If I let you all edit it, then you're gonna have, uh, it's gonna be very, very messy. But again, if you have any suggestions for this, then do let me know. Maybe we can add it to add to it, maybe change it up a bit. But I hope that this is useful to you. And again, the link to it is in the description.